Shopping, I guess. An excuse to get out of the house because I'm so excited. my grandma has no groceries. So and my dad's trying to be nice and let Corinne out of the house. I think recording. Wow. I was just I just said all of this. I'm not even recording. <laughs> Anyways. We're going to the store right now. I was like high key going crazy as of this week, I think. Um, it was funny. We were like talking about going. I was like, I like volunteered right away. I was like, yeah, I want to go. And then my friend's dad was like, yeah, so we'll all go in the car. And then me and your mom are going to like go and you guys will stay in the car. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, you mean I don't get to go in the store? So then we changed our minds. So we're actually going to go to the store. So me and Harley and then her parents are going to go in the store. We're going to go shopping. I'm so excited. <laughs> Grocery shopping would be so exciting. It's so exciting. But your whole perspective on life changes whenever there's a pandemic going on. It's happening, Harley. Uh, oh no, the grass is wet. I'm gonna walk around. I got the white shoes, you know. I can't get over there. because we might never go out again. <laughs> Die. All right, so we're walking up to Sam's Club. Oh, I don't know if you're recording. Right I now. am recording, actually. And there is a bit of a line. It's a line. Not too, Not too bad. bad. But still a line. People are still crazy, so. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> I keep pressing the button and it's not actually going. There it goes. Should we get some other ones? I want them. Please okay. follow. <laughs> I'll grab it for you. That's how much I care. <laughs> so cool. <gasps> you did find them. Limit. Three per hour. You're gonna have to talk to Corey. Do the no eggs today. There's no eggs today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. She said three per customer. Three it is. Play this time. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Shame. I've been failing at videotaping. Yes. Postitos. Yes. Oh hi. Ooh. How cute is she? Wow, this is what I look like with no eyelashes. <laughs> That's why I put on mascara. <laughs> we did it, bro. We did it. We were outside. In the outside world. <laughs> we're alive. How was it? It's amazing. <laughs> I miss fast food. <laughs> Stop number two, Tarjay. Tar Harley's mom is gonna kill us. Well, unless she kills somebody else. We love you, Paula. I'm gonna get hit by a car right now. Oh, we love the East reception. So wait, what is it? What does that mean? Hey guys, so a little update time. Um, it is a bit later, it's like 2.30 I think right now. Um, so we went to all the store and stuff, went to Target, got some stuff, we did that, and then we dropped some stuff off at Harley's uh, grandma's house. And now we're back at the house. I just took a shower um, just to prevent like germ spreading or anything. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to work on some school right now. Um, I kind of haven't all day. I studied a little bit this morning. Um, and then I'm gonna study a little bit more now, and then I have a few like work things I need to get done. Um, but yeah, I look so gross right now, but it's okay because I just got out of the shower. 
Um, but yeah, I will update you guys in a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little like montage right now. So yeah. it's a little bit later don't look at my messy bed um i made a mess today my hair is all curly i feel like i haven't had my hair curly on my channel yet so this is my natural hair it's crazy um so i was doing an instagram thing for work um just showing like our favorite books and stuff that's like our thing for the day and i figured i would show you guys too so i'm gonna show you right now um so i did three <laughs> kind of um, so the first one I did was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, super basic, I know, but I love this one specifically. I love all of them, not gonna lie, but this one just, I can't even explain it. Does anybody like, or I'm gonna try to explain it, I guess. <laughs> Does anybody else, like, when you're reading a book, like, you have, like, the two different, like, phases almost of reading a book so there's like the phase where you're just like you see the words you're like picturing the like it happening but you're still reading the words and then when you get in the really good book phase when you're just almost not you don't even notice the words anymore you're just experiencing it that was this book for me I literally it's like 800 pages and for a good like four or five hundred pages I did not stop reading like it was crazy so this is number three I only make a number three because the other two are just so good that they just somehow surpassed this one. I don't know how they did it. I don't understand. <laughs> the number two that I did was this book called Clockwork Princess. If anybody's read any of these books, comment down below. We can totally talk about it because I'm obsessed. Um, I actually read this one quite a while ago before um, it was like super, super popular. Uh, if anybody watched like the Shadow Hunter show, that's like these books, but they're set in like the 1800s. Um, so freaking good. The Shadow Hunter books, I actually have a lot of friends that don't like those books. I do personally like them. I think they're really good. It's like these ones, like the City of Bones and stuff. Um, I think they're great, but these ones just are on another level. Like I just love the time frame, the main character Tessa, like she's so amazing. She loves books. I love books. Like it's just great. The guy characters so attractive. And I know most people are like, how do you know they're hot? They're fictional characters. You know they are from their mind and that's how great it is. So I love this book. It's a series. So this is the third one actually. Um, I just picked this one as my favorite just cause I really love the storyline of this one but the other two are great as well. Like I can't, can't deny that. My number one, I didn't really pick a number one. I actually <laughs> picked a whole series cause that's me. So this is the Throne of Glass series. So this is like the number one book. So this is, or this is the first book. This is actually the prequel that's set before this one. So that's why I put it before, but um, Throne of Glass series. It's pretty, it's not this book, sorry. <laughs> um, so it's all these ones. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight books. This one and this one are a prequel. So like these ones, and then this one's the last one. Or no, I'm sorry, these four, this one, and this one. And then these two are prequels. Sorry, there was like no reason I had to do it like that. Um, but yeah, they're so amazing. And like part of the reason why I love them so much is I actually bought the first, like the second one had just come out when I bought them. I bought the first and second one and I literally just bought it because someone gave me a gift card at Barnes and Noble and I was like, you know what? I, I wanna buy these. Like, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know anything about them. Literally didn't even read the back of the book. So I was like, I'm just gonna read it and I'm just gonna see what it's like. And I, it's, it's amazing. Like I literally, I can't even like explain them because they're just so, they, the first book, like the, the I'm like rambling right now. <laughs> um, but the first book, like the set of it is like completely different than what you see in like the third book. Like just like the goal and everything. It's just, it's a great, it's a great series. I highly recommend it to anybody. I posted it on my Instagram, so go follow me. I'll put it right here, my Instagram. 
Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend any of those books, but specifically the Throne of Glass series. So, so amazing. Um, <laughs> I've now been rambling for like five minutes now and I need to calm down. Um, I love talking about books. If you guys want like a book video or something, comment down below. I have a lot of books. I honestly, here. I have like, I have like a lot of books in my room, kind of. So I have these ones. I have a few right here. These are actually like from friends and stuff that I just never got around to reading. Um, and then I have, sorry, my room's like a mess right now. I like my Harry Potter books and then I have those ones and then a few right here that I need to go like back over there. And I have like my Harry Potter like illustration books right there. The reason I actually have like the illustrated ones is because my, uh, my Nana was actually getting them for me for Christmas every year. Um, and so I was like keeping them out. Um, and, but they started coming out like only every other year. So I probably could have just put them in storage. Um, it's like, yeah. So most of my books are actually in storage right now. So if you guys ever wanted a video, I probably have to like <laughs> go get all my books out of storage, but maybe like eventually when I have like maybe my own place or something, like I could make a video like talking about all my books. Or even if you guys just wanted me to discuss like some of my favorite books, totally be down for that. Um, yeah, I love, I love reading. I definitely don't get as much time to like do it now with like school and everything. Um, but I definitely like, it's one of my favorite things to do. I used to like, if, any of my friends like remember or like my coworkers from when I first like graduated high school. Like I was the girl with the book. Like I always had a book in my hand and every week it was never the same book. Like I finished books like nothing, which <clears throat> I feel like no one cares about this right now. But um, it's crazy because like when I was a kid, I actually like hated reading. Like I did not enjoy it. There was only like a few books that I actually liked. Um, and then when I was about 13 or 14, I think, my mom let me borrow the Hunger Games books from a friend of mine. She was like, yeah, you can read that. Like my parents were a little bit stricter when I was a kid. So like I couldn't always read like whatever I wanted. Um, and so I like borrowed that from a friend and finished that book in three days. Like I thought it was so good. And from that point on, like it kind of started my obsession. <laughs> and so literally within like, it's like six, six or seven years. Cause I kind of slowed down my reading around like 18, 19 once I got into college just because I didn't have time anymore and I started my prereqs for nursing. Um, but literally just within like five or six years, I have almost a full bookcase of books that I've fully read. You know, like it's it's kind of disgusting when I think about it, like I read so much. Um, but it makes my mom happy because she always liked books. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling at this point. I am going to go back and study some more. I have a bunch of projects I need to finish. Um, but yeah, that has been my day so far. I was supposed to like do some more like stuff for work, but I just haven't got around to it. I think I'm gonna just post a picture and then just kind of go from there. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys later. actually getting ready for bed I'm doing like my skincare right now and kind of cleaning some of stuff up um, if you guys ever want like a skincare routine or something let me know down in the comments I would totally be down I, I don't know just let me know also when I went to Target today I got a bunch of scrunchies they're on like my little like circle thing yeah but I got a ton of scrunchies because it's literally all I've had my hair in lately because quarantine um, so yeah I'm probably just gonna end the vlog um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually had a lot of fun today um, until like later in the evening, two or three hours ago, they like made the announcement that they were going to extend quarantine in like the, all of the United States until April 30th. So at this moment, I'm just like super bummed and super <laughs> angry, <laughs> which obviously I don't really have a right to be. Obviously they're like doing this to like keep us safe and I don't know, just super annoyed at this point. I just, I haven't like mentioned it on my channel, I guess, so I can just talk about it now. So I was gonna make a whole like video about this when it actually like, the, it came around, but now I don't even know if it's gonna come around. So originally me and my mom and my grandma were actually going to go to Disney World in December because my grandma has a, um, 
what's it called the Disney um, Disney Vacation Club and so we were gonna go to Disney World together it's gonna kind of be like the last trip that we were actually gonna be able to like go on together just because like I'm in school like my mom's pretty busy like my grandma was like has stuff like you know she, she was like getting older um, so we didn't know like if we'd ever be able to do that again and so we we're like yeah like let's go and so about about a month before she actually fell and broke her hip and so she ended up in the hospital uh, and so we like canceled it because she just wasn't going to get better in time because you can't fly after surgery and stuff which like of course like we canceled it and then after her surgery and everything um we were like talking and she was like yeah like i want to reschedule it like we're gonna go and we were like okay <laughs> and so my mom thought it'd be a really good idea for her to like plan it because she was like oh it's like a good thing to like kind of help her like want to get better because it's like oh you gotta get better for the trip um but basically like moral of the story she ended up passing away um when her hip broke they found like when she went to the hospital they found like cancer and it was like kind of too far gone by the time um they were able to do the biopsy and everything like um she ended up passing away um but after like she passed away my mom had to like cancel everything because she had replanned the trip and everything because we were planning on going in may and so my mom was like trying to decide if she wanted to cancel it if she wanted to keep it um and she ended up deciding it was kind of like all up to my mom like obviously like I didn't care whatever she wanted to do it was kind of like her decision and so she ended up wanting to keep it and she just changed it because originally we were going to go for one week in December and then my Nana changed it because she wanted to go two weeks and so then we changed it again to just go for one week and then my mom was going to have my little sister go with us so it was going to be me my mom and my sister um and we're at the moment scheduled to go May 22nd and right it does not seem like that is going to happen due to everything that's going on and I know that that's such like a petty thing but <laughs> I was just really excited to go and this is like the third time that we've had to cancel it and obviously all the times have been like reasonable reasons it's just like I don't know it just kind of stinks and I was excited because like I don't know when I'm ever going to be able to like go on a trip with like my mom and my sister again like that um, just because, like, money is, like, hard and, like, eventually, like, I'll be a nurse and I won't have time. Obviously, like, I'll be able to make more money, so maybe eventually. Um, but, you know, things change and stuff like this happens and it makes it hard to actually, like, I don't know, like, do, like, stuff like that with family. So, yeah, it just kind of stinks. I was super excited for it. And it's, like, mostly paid for. And Disney's actually being, like, really accommodating. They're, like... Um, letting people reschedule and stuff like that but it's just kind of like that's the one time that I think is going to work for like everybody especially if like this continues like we don't know how long Disney's going to be closed and so I'm hoping that May be will open back it'll open back up in May um, but that's kind of just a long shot at this point like originally it was end of March and now it's I guess May 1st is like the goal um, with Trump declaring this that everything's gonna be closed until April 30th. So I really don't know. I've just rambled for six minutes um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll put this in the blog or not, but I don't know my point being that um, That was my goal and I'm just I feel like this this whole thing is just like getting in sadder and sadder like this whole year has just been really crappy like that happened and then just like like my grandma and everything and then this all of this like corona stuff happening so like school being put online and then now this it's just kind of sucks so i don't know if you guys want to like talk in the comments like let me know if anyone else is experiencing like stuff i know a lot of people are like having like really hard times with like prom and like um graduations being canceled like i have a friend from work who's like graduating from her school um just like from college and like everything's been canceled and i don't know just it really stinks like I'm just praying that this will not continue on that it'll everything will be like back to normal by summer and fall semester is gonna be like normal cuz I don't know if I can handle this for like all of nursing school that would be terrible so yeah I don't know um, thank you guys so much for watching if you've watched this far I really appreciate everybody that's been watching my videos um, obviously it's not like a lot of people, but I, I don't know. I, I like making them. So hopefully some of you like it brings a smile to your day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.